Well, hello and welcome to uh, Raspberry Jam. I am not Alan, Alan O'Donoghue, as you can see. He's off spawning in Cambridge, meeting up with the big boys and girls. So he asked me to um, organise this, this event, and I asked a few people to come along, and then eventually it turned out to be a bit of a robot fest, as you can see. So we have lots of robots here tonight, so they're going to be a large flavour of robots. But the idea initially was to go through and say what you've done with your Raspberry Pi. So I'm all, of course my computers don't work here tonight, but luckily YouTube it does. So I'm just going to play back one of the early YouTube videos. I have no idea what I said in this video, but this will show where I was, you know, nine months ago. I'm a Scratch program running. It's not using a Pi face, but that's the code I've used. Here's the Python handler. One note, one note. Reading those instructions from scratch. And here's the outcome. Look at that LED. LED blinking. It's a lot on the scratch. Right. So that was me back then. If he got on here. And ended up, if you can, my last video. I can just look at it here. How do you get onto that? Wish I knew how to work YouTube. Back. I want to go to my list of videos. And the last one. To not look from blinking one LED. Okay. This is um, well, hopefully basically the final version of my little stepper bot on the software anyway. It'll, it'll need little tweaks. But by simply pressing the S key on the keyboard, it's all done in scratch, this. the bot should go forward and basically draw a square. I'll just keep my camera steady. Uh, that's the first side done. Second side done. Got a long delay in there to allow for the turn. So basically, it just says go forward for five seconds and then turn. The turn command basically says turn the steppers 200 steps with this size wheel, it means it does a 90 degree turn. And hopefully, you can see that that was fairly repeatable. I'll give it one more time. Maybe we won't bother with the video on that one. So, that's been my journey with a Pi. Uh, starting off with blinking an LED. Um, I took the code that the Pi Face team had developed in the summer last year when they started doing their original work. So let me talk scratch through Python through to the Raspberry Pi GPIO ports. And luckily, your man here developed the software which let me do that. So he's going to get up next and show us you know, what his little journey's been with this. Um, and that's what I ended up with, a, a bot that can um, be controlled by stepper motors, turn around and all controlled by scratch. So uh, that's what I've done.